Hello everyone, I'm geologist Philip Ong, bringing you guys a Mauna Loa update. Mauna Loa is not erupting, but has been in the news quite a lot recently because of activity that's been interesting over the last month or so, adjustments in the volcano. We're going to cover that here today in our short video. Update. You're looking at the, a picture of the summit of Mauna Loa, Mokua Veo Veo Crater, seen from the south. And there's not a whole lot of ac action up there. We can see evidence on the GPS in the most recent phase here that we've uh, reverted from a contractional phase of the volcano, where the trend of the distance across the main summit caldera was contracting to where it stabilized and now maybe is very slowly extending right here, just in the last uh, few days here. If you look at the overall pattern for the last five years, you can see that this is just a small blip and that follows another one we had earlier last year that are smaller adjustments in the long-term extension and build, building of magma into the volcano. GPS has switched course, stabilized a bit here, and accordingly the tilt signals for the past month on the volcano have also shown corresponding changes. Uh, beginning around the end of March here, where the tilt dropped, back, that dropped down, and essentially stopped dropping and stabilized and now is rising just in the last few days here. So this drop was coincident with uh, the second swarm of earthquakes on the volcano, on the volcanic flanks, and likely relates to a cycle of filling and adjustment that the volcano goes through on a regular basis. There have been no uh, uh, emissions measured of SO2, no temperatures. This is a summit thermal camera, and the scale on the right here doesn't go above 100 degrees. Everything is quite cool in there. No signs of heat or gas at the surface. Seismically, earthquake-wise, we do have continuing low-level earthquakes northwest of the caldera, summit caldera of Mauna Loa and otherwise no new clusters of earthquakes anywhere else. So we'll focus in on the summit. The summit, of course, has been expanding. This is the most recent NSAR release by the USGS, uh, covering a period that goes from November to March 2021, November 2020 to March 2021. And it's showing a couple of things, a broad inflation around the whole volcano, zoomed in on the summit here, right? Uh, and then the shallow subsidence related to these marked Summit earthquakes which occurred in early March as well. The overall long-term pattern is of spreading, but as you can see in this figure from Walter and Amalung 2005, this is relating uh, to volcano earthquake interaction. Um, and in this case, it was researched in relation to full-fledged eruptions, but the same mechanism is in place for adjustments of the volcano with smaller earthquakes. And so you have earthquakes in the flanks, either flank of the volcano, and that leads to a stress change, and then you essentially can focus your activity more within a magma system, which can spread and rise towards the surface and show surface information closer to the summit, which uh, triggers recirculation, movement of magma. It can trigger an eruption. Uh, when we're talking about big earthquakes, we're not, talk we're not seeing signs of that yet. We may be seeing small movements of intrusions where the magma is filling underground without having to break to the surface. And as magma fills that area near the surface, it then increases the pressure on the flanks, which leads to more flank earthquakes. So that's a, a process, a cycle the volcano goes through. You can do this many, many times without going through eruption. And it really takes a big earthquake on one of these flanks. We're talking magnitude 6-ish, 5 to 6 earth, uh, magnitude earthquakes. Uh, that would be something big enough to unlock and trigger uh, an actual eruption based on the historical patterns that we see. That's our Mauna Loa update today. Aloha, everyone.